I hear the clock ticking. Time waits for no man. Life goes by, and it goes by quick. Don't waste those years. Don't waste them. Live them. Back off, negative. Not happening. In fact, I'm stepping it up. No complacency. No complacency. No backing off. No slack whatsoever. Bring it. Fight. Fight that ticking clock with everything you got. And the earlier you get in the game, the better life you're gonna have. And many of you are not where you're supposed to be, not because you're not gifted. You have absolutely no discipline. I need you to confront you because you're the one holding you up. I need you to confront you. I just beat me. This ain't about nobody else. I don't give a fuck about nobody else. I just beat me. I'm in a battle with the only person that I really want to fucking beat, and that's me. If I can continue to outdo me from the day before, then I'm ahead. I don't know what your future is. But if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. You will have good days and you'll have bad days but you will always learn something more or something new and you will learn more overall on bad days than good days. You will learn more about yourself, you'll learn more about relationships, you'll learn about life and principles and it'll build your character. I stand before you without arms and legs but a very strong man because of the bad days in my life. You may have arms and legs, but unless you know three things. Number one, who are you and what your value is? Number two, what is your purpose here in life? And number three, what is your destiny when you're done here? If you don't know the answers of any of those three questions, you're more disabled than I. Stay focused, don't listen to nobody. What's on your mind, just do it. Cause what's destined for you, you gonna get it. When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. So it's different. If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. You're not there yet. Because somebody in your life should say, man, you really care about this in like a crazy way. You could be misunderstood by everybody because you're gonna be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. It is. But if you wanna fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you can do, you've arrived. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. One thing I learned in life, you can never bring somebody up if they don't want to go up. You can't. No matter how good you think you are, no matter how much you want to tell them, you could help them. If they don't want to go up, there's nothing you can do. 100%. But the reverse is not true. Somebody bad could bring a good person down. Because the negativity in the world is much, much stronger than the positive sometimes. And the negative people can bring you down. So I stay away from negative people. You're right. I just walk away from them. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? And when you're trying to do something that you're truly passionate about, there is no plan B. Right. Think about that for a second. Michael Jordan won six NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls because he was committed to plan A not plan B. Oprah Winfrey became the queen of all media because she was committed to plan A, not plan B. Plan B sucks. I hate plan B. Every thought that you put into plan B, you're taking away now that thought and that energy from plan A. I've never ever had a plan B. I made a full commitment that I'm going to go and be a bodybuilding champion. I made a full commitment that I'm going to be in America. I made a full commitment that I'm going to get into show business and I'm going to be a leading man. No matter what it takes, I will do the work. I will do the work over and over and over until I get it. The comfort zone is dangerous. When you're comfortable, you are at most dangerous. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. 
If anybody ever tell you, hey, look, you know what? Just be satisfied with what you got. Don't believe them. Get them away from you. That's good. You should never be satisfied with what you got. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. Do you have the guts to fail? If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Pick up the pace. You walking too slow. Pick up the pace. You moving too slow. Pick up the pace. If you want to finish sometime, you can't just finish. You got to finish fast. You don't have as much time as you think you do. You master the present. You master the present. When you feel like giving up, don't. When you thinking about giving up, don't. When it look like you ain't gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, come on man, who are they? When they tell you you're not gonna make it, don't believe them man, don't believe them. You got to be relentless. At some point, you gotta be f***ing tired of not being number one. And you gotta can play angry, and I play angry. You gotta work every fucking day. It doesn't end. While you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. You keep gossiping, and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack, and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else, and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. And you will lose and I will win. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. And fear comes in. It's that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You got to get it wrong to get it right. You learn nothing from winning. You only learn from your failures. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. That is near insanity. Now do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. We are all telling ourselves a story. It was hard, ladies and gentlemen. It was very difficult to pick myself up each day believing that I could do it. There were times that I doubted myself. I said, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody. Why did this have to happen to me? I don't care how good you are in anything. You don't have discipline. You ain't nobody. You're nothing without discipline. Because you give up on the slightest struggle without discipline. Discipline to do what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. A person with passion always stands out. The world is so full of average. that once you have passion and a sense of energy in your life, it distinguishes you. When you're passionate about something, it isn't reasonable, but you do it anyway. Passion will take you where nothing else will ever take you. It'll give you that decided edge. It'll help you to stand out. It's not easy reaching your goal. It's not easy changing your life. It's not easy trying to build a business and people are negative and saying no every day. It takes a lot of guts. What do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You got to outgrind them. You got to get up earlier. You got to stay up later. You got to execute and you got to go from 70 to 120. You guys need to understand what you don't have to do. You don't have to work hard. You don't have to eat right. You don't have to sleep right. You don't have to 
do more than what's required of you. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. But you also don't have to win. You don't have to be a success in life. So the greatest things in life take sacrifice and discipline. And that's why so few people achieve great things. Because they don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to discipline for something greater. So you see all these people that have great things in life that you look up to? It's because they were sacrificed and disciplined long before you ever knew them. I don't care if you have to inch your way day by day. Even if you have to get down and it hurts and it's hard and nobody can see what you're really going through. If you don't quit, the pit will become your platform. The challenges you have right now, they're there to push the greatness that is inside of you out.